Welcome to another soggy. Yep, I was gonna say outfit of the day. It ain't, but if you want to know, Dylan Hart shirt, uh, leopardy pants, night clothes. Hey, there you are. <laughs> I'm styling. No, this is a Goodwill haul. <laughs> no, I was going to film a little earlier when there was actual sunlight. Tiny little problem in this time of the year. Get sunlight, except I'm covered in stripes, as you've seen in one of my other hauls. And I suppose I could play with the blinds, but then they'd fall apart and just... So you get the dark and gloomy, normal winter ickiness. <sighs> but I have changed the light bulbs in my lamps to being daylight lamps. You know, daylight light bulbs and not the normal ones that have this icky yellow glow. I mean... Oh, it makes your house so warm. No, it makes you so you can't see any damn thing. <laughs> but now they are all the bright white light, which I, as a crapper, really appreciate. So on to it then. Now, a couple of these things you have seen already in my videos that I have posted. The Christmas one and I think my, I don't know, whatever other one it was. But I shall show them to you in a little more detail. Now, the first one is my dress that I was wearing at, to the Christmas party. I was going to go with plan A, but I didn't know if I could... I could get into it, but it's one of those hidden zippers, and I didn't have any confidence in him being able to zip me into it. So I found this, and this was five. And I love, you know, the nice lacy part, and the shade of red, too. So I'm like, for me, this is Christmassy, but this, this I would wear with like a pair of leggings, well I did wear with a pair of leggings anyways, just casually, you know, like during the summer or something. And I like the fact that it's like, you know, padded so you don't have to wear like extra you know, clothing underneath as a, you know, so that was kind of neat. I don't necessarily like these like, the tie halter top type things, they're just very annoying, I don't know, and kind of uncomfortable too. And I have to have it, you know. <laughs> I don't know, but there was enough room for my top anyway in here. And it was a nice length. Only problem is, you know, at least in this time of year, there's a pretty, you know, this is kind of staticky. This underlace, you know, the actual, the red part here, it's kind of that polyester stuff that's just so prone to, you know, static, static cling. But I liked the nice, you know, lace overskirt here. And had like a little elastic in the back there, gave it a little extra room. But I actually see no size on here at all. So I don't know if this was like a handmade thing. No, I guess not. Somebody else must have nicked off those little uh, plastic straps that are totally stupid. <laughs> that you hang, supposed to hang them up by. So I don't see a size or a brand or anything at all in this particular dress. Which kind of sucks because I'd kind of like to know. Anybody in there? Nope. But yeah, it has one of those hidden zippers, but I don't have to unzip it any. Oh, good clasp it. There. Because I can get into it fine just over my head. So I thought that was very pretty, and you saw it on me, so I don't have to do much more than that. Hmm, should probably put this in the wash, huh? Which is what the humming is in the background. It's laundry. <laughs> now, I don't think I put these in an outfit of the day or anything like that. But these were just... No, this is what I got Monday. And I haven't weighed myself lately. I don't know. But I was tinkering around 145. I don't know if I put that up or not. I don't know. But these were a pair of jeans from Express Design Studio editor, I don't know, and they're 8R, but they're stretched, so they give you a little extra, <laughs> so they're not, I wouldn't consider them technically an 8, because you do have a little extra give in there, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know, I'm kind of sort of fitting into an 8, which is probably, you know, what my normal 10 used to be, but it's just funny that I can say I fit into an 8 now, <laughs> but they are a little snug, but not snug where you're like, I can't move, let's knock that over, but 
<laughs> but I'm so paranoid. I was afraid that they were just snug enough to be like, oh, please don't let my pants split because my butt is too fat. But they did survive a wearing, so that little extra gear helps. But this is kind of annoying, though. It's, you got the extra button. It's, it's just an extra piece that is really unnecessary. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, how many people do that? I mean, if I gotta go, I don't wanna have to go through, like, security systems just to take a leak, you know what I mean? I just want to unbutton my pants. And they got these two little hooks, which are kind of annoying. I do have to suck in a bit to hook them, but, but not overly so. What we do for beauty. And, oh, I think these are spandex, cotton polyester spandex. But these kind of jeans that have a little extra give, I have always liked anyways because they're a lot more comfortable. They're not stiff. And they're just, I mean, somebody must have had cats or something because there's like snag marks in them, so <laughs> a previous cat owner might have used them. But again, they're a little too long, which is kind of annoying, so I'll have to hem them up. And, I don't know, they're really comfy, so I can pretend I actually wear size 8 pants. The only problem is you can't put anything in the pocket, so <laughs> I haven't quite gotten that, that, uh, that small yet. So, I think those will eh, go in the wash, too. And this I wore, I think, it was my gothy grocery shopping. Video there, and this I got. Uh, I think it was regular price, so it would be like three dollars. And this says size eleven, and it looked like it would kind of fit. So, but it's not like too big, too small. So, but it might on me be a little lower than it might have been normally, but it's still kind of short, which I always really use with these anyways. Like I said, and I thought it was cute because you had this nice little lacing detail all the way around. And then just a little, little pretty uh, ruffling, what is it? pleating, that's the word, pleating. So, it was really comfy, and it was really cute. And this is from some obscure brand that's not even printed on a tag. There is a tag with nothing on it, but a blue stripe. But whatever it is, it's polyester spandex. Exclusive of trim? That's weird. <laughs> there is nothing printed on the tag. But I thought it was really kind of cute. I mean, it's fancy and casual at the same time, which is neat. And again, I wish they'd make skirts where they're a little longer in the back. In whatever length you want in the front, because people's butts aren't straight flat down. So it's always up in the back. <laughs> Those of us who got a booty. Okay, so that's previous stuff that you've probably seen. This is the new stuff I got since. <laughs> uh, today, actually. So I only got two things today. I wasn't going to go because I did like some extra shopping for because it would have been too much just to do it normally. So it was an extra kind of trip, but it was okay. So I'm like, okay, should I go to the Goodwill? I've just been there. And I'm thinking, well, I wasn't going to go that last time when I got the boots I made their own special video of. It's like, maybe I'll get lucky again today. So I went anyway. And I got just two things. It wasn't, like I said, they're kind of hiking up the prices. I don't know if it's for holidays or, you know, whatever. So I'm kind of a little more selective. But yeah, I got this. Um, wow. I'm hoping this didn't come as, like, an outfit. I mean, seriously. I can see maybe a dark, you know, black dress or something with a little pop of color, but if a skirt came with this or a pair of pants the same pattern, good lord, help the woman who wore this. <laughs> this just screamed a lovely bag, <laughs> so <laughs> ain't no way I'm wearing this. So it will be a bag in another life, and it's from Casper, size 8, with a... I mean, it's bad enough they put shoulder pads in here, but these are like, you know, football shoulder pads, and they're inside. Ugh. Shall we try this on? Does it go with the leopard? A little snug in the shoulders, though. Good God. Yeah. But I thought they were kind of pretty colors, you know, for like a bag. <laughs> Not for me, thank you very much. 
So this is a craft project plus I'll get lining besides. And this was only a buck since it was green tag day. It goes shedding. Polyester, rayon, polyester. I, I like like the I don't know, I am not keen on the yellow. <laughs> the purple and the pink and the black, fine. I think it's the yellow that makes me like, ew, what the hell? Mm. I don't know. Not a big fan of yellow. Especially in clothing. Good God. <laughs> now, this last thing, you've seen me wear, I think, both of them. And one I call my gorilla shirt, because it's like a fluffy, you know, I mean, it looks like the top to a gorilla suit, I ain't gonna lie. But it's a black Angora sweater, and that I think I only got for like 50 cents. Now, originally I wanted, I know, I was just wandering around and felt this really nice soft sweater, and it was white. So pretty. And I'm like, I said Angora, I'm like, well, I don't know, those are bunnies. So it was like a moral decision, I didn't get it, and of course, back... You want to go back? It was gone. It's like, well, no, it's a hair, not a pelt. So they just, you know, you take the fur. I mean, you don't, you know, like I said, you just shear the sheep. You know, I hope they only shear the bunnies. But, uh, so I'm like, okay, well, I got a black one. And they're really light, but they keep you really warm at the same time. So I got the black one, and that's my gorilla suit. And then I found a red one later on, which I like the styling a little better. I like the neckline, and it's just a nicer cut. But that was like... Angora and something else or something like that and normal sweaters on me like I told um, the girl at the Goodwill I'm like a group of Pikachu where if I'm in a sweater that's gonna be an electrical storm because I mean I've had sweaters that made my hair go Poof. I mean it's just not safe for anybody around you know <laughs> around appliances or anything like that if I'm in a regular sweater but these don't seem to generate electricity <laughs> so I'm looking in Monday I saw one that was like pink and I'm not talking like an attractive pink I'm talking like you know a baby pink you know something that would you know just you know a baby pink and I'm thinking oh well, that's kind of nice and I'm then I stop and kind of go my god what am I thinking I ain't doing that <laughs> must not do pink <sighs> so I'm like put it down put it down so I didn't get that one because I wanted a light one kind of like the first one I wanted so I went there today, and they were putting out the new stuff, which I guess was yellow. And this might have been just on the rack for like minutes, because she was just putting things out. So I found this one. Now this is a cashmere sweater. I know what a cashmere is. Is that a goat? I think a cashmere is a goat. I don't know. Anybody know what a cashmere is? I have no idea. Is it A or A? Uh, I don't know. What the hell is cashmere, basically? Whatever it is, it's 100% of it. And this comes from L.L. Bean. So, this, sh I mean, I've heard a lot of good things about L.L. Bean, about the quality of their product, that they'll last a long time, so we'll see. And for the price you pay for stuff for L.L. Bean, it should last you to, through a couple of apocalypse, you know? So, this was $4. God knows what it was originally. You never saw that. I do have a habit of accidentally not remembering to <laughs> take off these little tags and I'm like, oops, <laughs> wearing a clothes at Walmart and you see this green tag sticking out of my butt. Mm -hmm. Anywho, like I said, this is from L.L. Bean and it's like a turtlenecky thingy. Women's 100% cashmere, blah, 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 large. And I personally can't stand turtlenecks at all, ever. <laughs> so I'm not quite quite sure how this is going to go. I mean, this is a lot, this has a lot more give compared to the crap-ass turtlenecks I was for. I mean, seriously. This, like, my entire, like, preschool, not preschool, but, you know, the first chunk of school days, for some weird-ass psycho reason, mother would make me wear turtlenecks. If you're, sh if it takes two people to get you into this shirt, what? I mean, it was like, you know, I was given birth to again multiple times. No wonder I'm a little screwed up now. It's like, and I mean, you're hearing grunting, groaning, and it's like, so yeah, I'm just the, 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 the shirt material, you know, the kind of knitted crap, polyester, whatever the hell it was, but mm, thank God that thing style went out of business, but it's like, bleh. so I'm a little, I'm always a little leery of anything like that around my neck. But this at least has a little give. Might look a little weird too. I don't know. So, but it should be really, really warm. It's very light. 
so it's not like a heavy sweater and it's nice and soft not as soft as angora but not bad either so i'll have to look up angora what the hell <laughs> i'll have to look up angora no i lied cashmere no i know what an angora is it's cashmere i don't know but it sounds fancy <laughs> So that was my prize for today. And it so it fit both the criteria of being, you know, the fancy soft material and a lighter one, which is more me than the white or the pink. Because it's in that sort of grays and blacks that I kind of like. So that is pretty much that for this little micro mini haul that I've probably still stretched out far too long. I guess that's that. <laughs> My McNuggets are calling to me now. I'm like distracted all of a sudden. Thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe if you would be so kind. If y'all can find it in the vast amount of pages they now throw at you. Why doesn't YouTube like ask us what we want on our time? <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, who, who thought this new setup was a good idea? I don't know. At any rate, again, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Mm-hmm.